This morning in the kitchen, Go Providence has brought us Sardo. Executive chef Oliver Williams is here, and we are making smoked paprika cavatelli. Good morning, chef. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Yes. Thanks for joining us this morning on this beautiful Monday morning with this beautiful dish. My pleasure. I'm happy to be here. So tell us about what we're making. Sure. I have uh, came up with this dish for uh, the Anchor and Hope wine dinner, which we're coming up uh, in a couple weeks, um, and it's a smoked paprika cavatelli. We have a little bit of a Parmesan broth. Um, we've got some char broccolini and we're just kind of doing a white wine sauce for that and finishing it with harissa breadcrumbs and mint oh wow so all right it's sort of a north african flavors in a yeah, southern that italian paprika brings something a little different yes exactly than so. you would maybe traditionally have on a pasta yeah i was trying to do something a little different but still keep it in the southern italian uh, setting of, in the cuisine so, yeah. yeah okay so tell us about the ingredients we absolutely need. so we have we made the smoked paprika cavatelli we have our um we make our dough in-house we have a little clipper that we use that mm -hmm. we love uh, by arcabellino and we also have have some garlic confit, which is basically the restaurant's version of uh, roasted garlic. It's ah. just an easier thing to use on the line. And fancy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, the charred broccoli here. I've got the, my wine, which I'm using the Anchor and Hope Chardonnay to just to tie it all in with the dinner there. Um, this is our Parmesan and red pepper broth here. Mm. And got some mint, some shallots, um, and then we're just going to finish it with some butter and lemon and a little bit of sherry vinegar as well. Sounds great. That broccolini looks wonderful. Yeah, that's just a, just a hard hard char on that, so like very high heat in the oven for a short amount of time. You still want some bite, but I'm trying to get some uh, some of the burnt ends Yeah, it there. looks great. I like it a little crispy Me too. like that. It's the best way. All right, so we're going to put this all together coming up in just a few minutes. For cool. now, back to you. Back in the kitchen this morning, we are here with Chef Oliver from Sardo making smoked paprika cavatelli. It is really coming together quickly. Yes, you is. just gave me a little taste of that broth. Oh, yeah. It's the it good is stuff. so flavorful. So let's remind the viewers at home what we put into this sure. and how we got to this point. Absolutely. Right. So we started off with a little bit of shallot, uh, extra virgin olive oil and shallot. Um, and then I just sort of I did a little uh, of the gar roasted garlic mm. confit here. Try to caramelize that a little bit, deglaze with the white wine, and then add a lot of butter. Yes. Uh, and then you sort of reduce that just a little bit, not too much. We do want the dish to be brothy because the bread crumbs okay. ties together well with the broth. So we have this here ready to go. I'm just going to warm up my pre-cooked broccoli. Okay. And so for people at home, if they're making it, char that first. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to, in the oven, high heat for a short amount of time, seven, eight minutes. Um, and yeah, and we're just going to reheat it up in the broth here. Oh, and so now that our so broth's good. ready and we put our pasta in, it's about four minutes out. We're just going to kind of hang out and let the pasta cook. Perfect. And, and this is talk. part of a, uh, a dinner that you're doing. So you crafted this dish specifically for this dinner. Yes, exactly. Yep. I was trying to come up with well, hopefully it'll go on the menu, but mm -hmm. you know, it's a, we try to take our time when we change the menu items and do a lot of research. So this is part of that research step for a yeah. new menu item. Um, so we're going to do it for the Anchor and Hope Wine Dinner, we're pairing it with their Mendo Red, which is a very drinkable, light, easy red. It can go with something like like this, like the pasta, and uh, be a perfect pairing for that. So I'm looking forward to it, and we've enjoyed working with them so much. Yeah, and you use their wine in the dish as well, yeah, correct? Why yeah, why not? I mean, we yeah. might as well just, just make it all. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> why not? Yeah, might, might as well make it all work together. Um, but you can use any kind of wine you want. I just happen to use their Chardonnay. We have it on draft at the restaurant. Oh, very which cool. Which is really fun, and it's a more sustainable option than bottles. Yeah, and so, okay, so for people who maybe haven't been to Sardo yeah. um, in a while, what what is what are the types of things that are on the menu? And you guys have a great cocktail bar as well. We do. We have a fantastic cocktail yeah. program. It's a beautiful restaurant. Um, on the menu, um, we do uh, some handmade pastas as well as some extruded pastas. Mm -hmm. um, we try to keep things... Um, true to the region of Italy that the dish is from, but also um, regionality mean, to me means sourcing from local people here in New England. Mm -hmm. I grew up on a farm and it's a very, I like my relationships with producers and farmers. Yeah. So the regionality has kind of two meanings there at Sardo. Um, and we don't, we're not super strict to the, the guidelines of the Italian cooking and, you know, some yeah. purists may not enjoy it, but we're just trying to make good, But you're trying to, you're trying food. to do some modern things with, yeah. um, classic recipes. Yeah, as well as just, you know, we, we don't want to get too, too crazy. We want to keep it simple. We just want people to be happy. Then, yeah. You know, we want people to be, have a, a festive mood when they're there. Feel like they're at a party. Absolutely. And I, I've been there before and there are some wonderful cocktails on your menu yes, as well. Absolutely. So definitely somewhere you can check out for dinner or just a, a drink and some snacks. Um, this is smelling wonderful. Yes, I'm going to strain this pasta and we're going to finish it up. Perfect. Excuse me. And again, it's a fresh pasta, so um, people at home can just, you just really are almost warming it up. Exactly. It's not going to take a long time to cook, and this is something people at home can really kind of make uh, easily. Yeah, it's not, it's not complicated. I mean, it, it may take a couple times for you to get the finesse down, 
Um, I've done it more than once, yeah. obviously. And when it comes together, we're just going to show this done one so people at home can see. You're putting this uh, beautiful breadcrumb on top. Tell us about yes, that, Yes, absolutely. So that's a, the Harissa breadcrumb. Now, Harissa is a spice mix from North Africa. Um, it's, it strongly features ground-up chilies, paprika, caraway. Uh, garam masala, which is one of my favorite spices. Yeah. So that's, I, I made up that up at the restaurant and I just toasted up some of the panko breadcrumbs with that. Very simple, straightforward, but it really brings another element to this dish. Yeah, it's which, beautiful. And again, it's a nice take on Italian, really make it, infusing some other flavors. Yeah, exactly. It. And it smells incredible. So if you want this recipe, pretty easy to make at home if you get all the ingredients together. We're going to post that recipe for you on roadshow.com.